Hello everybody and welcome back to Coral Island where we are on the first day of fall. I am looking at possibly peppers growing fall too. Wow! Something I can carry on harvesting all the way through the year. Lovely. Fantastic. I'll sell some of those guys then. Get a little bit of money today which I wasn't expecting to get. So good. I'll just hoe away all the rest of them. And my fertilizer's all gone now as well. So, uh, because I'm planting again today, I can probably even use the fertilizer too if I have enough stuff for it, which might be cool. But yeah, I think I do need to be working on uh, basically getting planting done. Right, I want to go and check with the goddess what the autumn bundle is. Just, just want to see what it is I'm looking for right now. Because I'm, I'm still not finding all of these uh, undersea things. I know I'm going to find the ocean scavenger balls. I'm going to find them eventually, but... Right. Fall season. So, summer season completed. Fall. We've got fall and winter to do, and we've got to try and get through to the ocean scavenger balls as well. So, fall, I believe we need a fig, a black trumpet mushroom, and an orchid. Rice and pumpkin. So, probably black trumpet and orchid are my two scavenger ball things. And the fig, rice, and pumpkin are the things I need to be trying to find. Let's see. I will actually go back to my. What's the closest to the shop? Oh, hang on, I've got a town one now. When did I get that? I must have got that when I finished the summer bundle or something. I have no idea. We've got forest, cavern, woodlands, town, diving pier, farm. Because I was using the woodlands ones to go into town, but town, okay. That takes me... Yeah, I've not used that one before. Maybe that was... Maybe some of the quests that I'm finishing. Maybe, like, um, I'll get a fast travel when I finish quests like all of the star... Um, uh, 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 opening the produce thing at Sam's. That sort of thing. Or maybe with some of the museum progress. I don't know what's going on with the museum at the moment. Am I just waiting? Or is there something I should have done? Do I need to go to the museum? But I'm right outside it at the moment, so... So as I've done head to the museum, I'm waiting for the Pixarter to be funded. Oh, head to the museum. Oh, yeah, it isn't. I do need to head to the museum. What am I even doing? I thought that that was, that was the one I'd done. Oh, it's so silly. Oh well, never mind. So, where's the museum from here then? I get all... discombobulated. Well, I definitely want to go to Sam's. But it's a bit early in the morning yet. Oh, he's opening in 20 minutes. Okay, let's go and check him out first and then we'll head to the museum. I'll get the seeds I need for the, for the coming season. So it's pumpkin, rice, and figs this time. Let's have a look. And let's hope that uh, we can get all of those things. Sweet potato. Oh, okay. No, so the orchid is a grown thing. So it's rice, orchid, and pumpkin. So we definitely need rice. Orchid and pumpkin. Could put some grass starters down. They're they're cheap actually. Maybe I'm gonna get like ten grass starters just to put a little bit more um, depth into the field. Maybe fill in that bit in the middle. An amaranth seed. Beet seeds still work apparently. Basil, basil, I would call it basil. Cranberries, yeah they look good. 
every two days. Every four days. Okay, so I want cranberry and beets because they regrow. So does eggplant. I'm not going to have much money left after this, unfortunately. Those are probably tree starters. Right, so I'm going to be looking around then for figs and mushrooms. I don't have enough money now. I need 2,000 for the chicken coop, unfortunately. That kind of sucks. So yeah, I'm just going to plant these. I, the, I think the main thing is to get the vine crops in because obviously they take a while. So other ones can be done in the middle of the season and it's fine. But the rice crops, uh, I think they're kind of important to get. So that's what we're going to do. Oh, let's have a look as well quickly at the board. And the town calendar. So we've got the Mooncake Festival on the 15th, potentially, if it's still going to be happening. Looks like it might be. And then Pet Day on the 28th. So there's two festivals a season. I think two festivals a season is actually quite a nice amount. I don't want to be at festivals all the time. It's annoying. But a, twice a season, I can, ha I can hack. <laughs> I can hack eight festivals a year. Yeah, I said head to the museum, so I'm heading. Um, let's have a look. That's cool, so that's a whole new area there. I am still waiting then. Nothing really happened when I came in here. It would, it, there would have been a cutscene or something. I did head to the museum earlier, so maybe maybe that's what it meant. I don't know. I'll work it out at some point, I'm sure. So the other thing I want to do is make some bee houses. Um, I'll probably make them just in time for winter at this rate. <laughs> and then the bees will all be like, I'm not working in winter. What do you mean? But yeah, main thing today is going to be planting. As much as I would love it to be all about the chickens, it's going to mostly probably be about planting. Right, so in my inventory, I need things like my seeds to be front and center for now. Oh, and fertilizer before I put them down. Obviously, there's no fertilizer on the peppers. There's nothing I can do about that. But let's have a look. You thought I'd forgotten, didn't you? <laughs> right, okay. So that requires silver kelp. Uh, no, <laughs> I don't have enough silver kelp for that. No way. So I'm just going to do this with ordinary fertilizer. So we'll just go with compost and sap. I've been making compost. I don't know if I will have enough, but uh, I have been making some. I've been collecting all the sap as well, not selling it on. So I think I've got a reasonable chance of making a decent amount of compost. And obviously the compost will go under the vine fruit and what was it? It was the was it the rice that needed to be I think it was the rice that needed to be bronze star. I should get something bronze star regardless. Makeshift chest. See I've got stone I can make a stone chest now. 
40 objects, whereas that one is only 20. Nice. Need a, a stone farming chest, don't I? Probably going to get rid of those then. Got my bronze bars from a chicken coop. Okay, let's make some fertilizer one then. And I will make that scarecrow soon as well. Um, but for now, I'm just keeping... I got 29 fertilizer. I'll do for now then. Right there. Five left then. That's all right though. That's a, that's a bit that I can use. I could try and make. I don't think it takes too long to make the comp the the fertilizer. The, sorry, the compost from this from the trash. So maybe I could do that. Could make a bit more. While I'm while I'm doing my planting, anyway. So I th yeah, like I say, I think rice. I shouldn't have planted that there at all. Just realised I should put vine crops by the sprinklers. Okay, I'm gonna put cranberries on this one. Beets here. Hmm, that's weird. I think I had too many beet seeds. I think I did. I have nine or something. Must have done. Okay, the orchid's just gonna go there, I guess. I won't worry too much about them. Um, the eggplants and the beet seeds. I want to have fertilizer under them. The pumpkins. I'm not so worried. They can just, cause. Uh, They take 13 days to grow, but you know, that's all cool. And then I'm going to need, I think, my hoe back out. Because I think I need one more plot. But only having to hoe one plot isn't too bad, I don't feel. And I got a coffer just from hoeing. Woohoo! Four whole compost! Well, how many do I need over here? I just need another one... Two, I need three... Oh, okay, I need six compost to finish off that little row. So what I'm going to do in the meantime while we're just waiting... Oh, I've left my gate open. Let's hope the cows haven't all escaped. <laughs> but go check on the cows. I will probably milk them as well. I've got a milk pail up here. I'll pet them, inspect them. Amanda likes me three hearts. Yeah, I think it's not gonna be too long. I could do with getting upgraded hay, but that's gonna take a bit of doing because I can't even make my own hay yet. So like getting them to like me is gonna be the, probably the most important thing to start with. And then we'll go from there, so. Oh, the grass is getting a bit of me now, isn't it? Look at it. I don't know if I need to keep them in for the summer. So that kind of patchily filled that in a little bit. It's, it probably will grow into a full field eventually.
No. Well, oh, can I maybe not call them outside when the gate's open? Because that would be interesting. No, it's just not working today. Oh, it's probably because it's like already five o'clock. Good grief. Sorry, guys. I should have looked after you in the morning, shouldn't I? So it's too late for them to come out. I've got a lot to do anyway, so it's fine. I will get my watering can up there. And I will water all the things that don't have water in them. And then we'll see if any more compost has been made. And I'll be less lazy about making compost next year, next time. I don't know um, what's going to go on in the winter, though. Whether the winter season is going to be one of those seasons where uh, you tend to go mining more and things like that. And you get really far in the mines and you work on other things. You go down to the ocean and you gather things in the ocean in the freezing cold. That is entirely possible. Okay, so that's all done. Yeah, okay, you've got seven pieces of compost, so that should be enough for me to make enough fertilizer. So I can make three more fertilizer. We have just farming, please. Increase the growth rate. Right, so yeah, three fertilizer. Will be just enough to finish this plot off. And um, the eggplants take the longest to grow, so they are the ones that I want in first. There we are. And then I would like to fertilize this whole plot here and put in beet seeds, but I can always keep them overnight if I need to. So, how about we put some more trash in here? So 20 compost will be enough to make me 10 fertilizer. So I only need eight, I only need like 16. And then that will be fine. Okay, it's nearly eight o'clock. So I think my best bet for the rest of the day would be to just put all my stuff away that I can. Got loads of interesting stuff actually. So coffers and... Uh, I'll keep the seeds on me though. Um, don't know what else would go in there to be honest. So let's, how about we just uh, go in this chest and put the sandstone. Oh, the monster essence, that's what would have gone in there. The bronze ore, bronze bars, the uh, how about this upgrade? Silver bars, coal, stone, fire gates. I'll do a little. Oh, I was trying to do a sort, but that was on the wrong thing. Okay, let's now go into the farming chest and put away the sap and the compost. And the hot peppers. And go to the tools and misc and put away the monster essence. And that is it. Oh yeah, no, I, I think I do want to put the trash away. But now, basic mats chest is getting really, really full. So, uh, coconuts could go in the farming chest, for example, or I can try and make some stone chests because I've got a lot of stone now. So I think that's going to probably be something we will do very, very soon. But I want to make some money if I can. I don't have long. But let's go diving for at least a couple of hours and see if I can just grab some, quickly grab some bits to sell. I'll only have until 11, so I've got like two and a half hours. I really want my chickens, but like, you need to, you have to do your planting on the first. Like, you can't just be like, I'm going to just not worry about doing planting. It's just not how it works. Oh, 
got quite a lot of bronze kelp. I'm not going to worry too much about gathering that. I'm just going to go between all the the gatherables on the ocean floor because, uh, again, I don't have long. I'm not going to worry about catching either because sometimes that takes me quite a long time. Steamer clams. So yeah, this is just like super quick. Run around, pick up the things. They'll all make me money. So it's quite nice actually to have this just, just ready to go. But yeah, we're working on the large milks. For the turtle up there. Getting late, we need to leave soon. I'm like, no, quick, 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 run around, get all the stuff. All the stuff. No, we don't need to leave. No, 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 no. I'm ignoring you. <laughs> I know it'll kick me out in a minute anyway, but... Every little bit I can gather is worth it. And then tomorrow I think we'll go around the town and scavenge as well. Hmm. Yeah, kick me out. I've got a few things though. I've got a few things. They will sell for a bit and it might just be enough to give me enough for my chicken coop. Maybe not enough for any chickens yet, but we can at least get started on the building of the coop because that will take a couple of days and in the meantime I can make the money. So, how about we go to my sell box and sell the stuff quickly. So they're 60 each, so that's alright. Those duck mussels are a decent amount too. And that Pacific Oyster, okay. That's not bad, and a few... Hot peppers already, 160's worth. I th and, and my milk, let's sell the milk too. Maybe the sea salt, because I find loads of that anyway. And I think, with that, I should be alright. Something on the TV, how to be a farmer. With Jeff Smith. Jeff wants to tell me. Harvest Festival. Held every year in Starlet Town, there's a big chicken sculpture. I'm talking massive, five, six meters tall. You can bring your harvest and enter it in the contest. Uh, I remember the free mooncakes from Betty. Oh, right, so that mooncake festival must be the harvest festival then. Uh, my old friend Frankie's mother, that's a winner for sure. Sprouts, be sure to go. It's worth the trip. Okay. Animal Channel. Mookbang. High grade grass. Okay, we have seen this one before. It's kind of, I think, trying to tell me. Don't grow something out of season. Poke your hay with boko chicken. Okay. Okay, that was weird. I'm going to bed. <laughs> So I've leveled up ranching. Oh nice, extra skill point and extra energy. So I get a ranching skill point? I didn't see any ranching skill points in the mastery tab, but I will double check. Oh, there is as well. A chance for an animal feed to stay filled. Double lowers. Oh, yes, fast friends. Right now, please. 5% increase in the time it takes to befriend an animal. It's already quite fast, but like, I, I need that. That is something I need. So bad. Yeah, it's a normal hot pepper. I'm going to put that straight in the farming chest. And I have 2,500 now, so that might actually be enough for a chicken and. Yeah, it might be actually. Right, is my composting done? Yes, so I've got enough compost now to plant the beets. 
But I'll go and see the cows first and I will let them out for the day because it's not raining. That gate does not want to open for me. <laughs> Close now. Close gate. Oh yeah. I'll go and say hello. They are all their food. Yeah, I'm trying to pet that one. Mm, pet. Oh yeah. I can actually inspect my cows from here. So Mona likes me two hearts and Amanda likes me four hearts. We are really getting there now. So especially with the increase to, to befriending that I've gotten as well. I think uh, we'll get that large milk very soon. I'm on seven of ten of my milks as well. So that's really awesome. Okay, gonna let you guys outside so you can munch on grass and not worry about the fact there's no fodder. <laughs> Out they come. We've got such a big field as well. It's so good. Right, so the next thing I want to do is water my crops. And then make a bit of fertilizer and plant those beets in. Then we want to go and see if I can find a fig. And a mushroom. It's actually quite good. A lot of these are starting to retain water now from my farming skills. And I think because these, these are, do you notice they're bronze seeds as they've gone in? So they're the first ones I've got since upgrading my seeds. So I, when I upgraded the plants, I think the, the plants that were already growing possibly did get an upgrade. And I did start seeing more bronze and silver things coming out. But now the seeds that have been planted are as well. And a lot of them have also got fertilizer underneath them. So I'm hoping that all of that together will, will add up to awesomeness. Oh, I've put away the... <laughs> I put away the sap, I think. Right, so fertilizer. And I need eight of it. Lovely. So I probably want to, like, especially ahead of things growing and me replanting anything. Oh, really? Uh, I'm going to want to uh, make some more compost. Okay, all done with that. I feel so busy right now. Um, then... Oh, I'm all there like I need to grow the beet seeds, but actually all it is, I didn't plant that one there. <laughs> I'm an idiot sometimes, I swear. So, what I'll do, <laughs> I'll get something else to put there, I think. Right, so I want to take up to the ranch, assuming the ranch is open, uh, sorry, the carpenter, not the ranch, up to the carpenter, assuming it's open today, which it is, I want to take up some bronze bars, wood, stone, and fiber and hope that that is enough for my chicken house. And I'm going to buy it and make myself a little area for my chickens and then maybe even buy a new chicken. There might be some new bugs and things around as well. And then <laughs> I want to go and look for figs. And uh, mushrooms. So let's have a look. Carpenter. Coop level one. Boop. Yay! Chickens are here. <laughs> so now I've got to decide where I want to put them. But we will do that a little later. What I want to do right now is to go around... Looking for, there's my first fig. So they're all over the place. Oh, so they're not like a tree or anything, which is what I was I was fearing. And they would be some sort of tree produce and I'd be really finding it really difficult to find them, la 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 la. 
But no, that's okay. So the other thing I need to find is mushrooms, which I might need to wait for some rain for that. I'm not sure. Chestnut. Sometimes you'll just find a mushroom around anyway, around in the forest area. Well, that is a butterfly I have definitely never, ever seen before in my life. Let's get my bug net out. I might not catch it, but I've got to at least try, right? Not get too near. Got it. Tiger swat. Oh, it's one I have seen. I'm just having a good look around. Really seeing any mushrooms just yet. But that's okay. Like I say, I'll probably find a lot more of them after rain. What's that? Just like a little sort of mantisy thing. Probably something I've had already as well. Okay. Well, before I can buy a chicken, I have to have the coop completely built. So that takes a day or two to do. So I need to go and decide, I think, where I want the coop to be. I could have it here, just to the side of the cows, or I could sort of make an area around here, like in front of the cows, a little chicken area there, and then the cow area would be quite big. This is a massive pond that I have not fished yet. Probably still full of shrimp though. Either that or I pop it here to the side of the cows. I think I'm gonna expand the cows area Maybe put a little bit of like road or something in between and then have a chicken area here. So I feel like that would probably be the better way. I think they may end up with the stump and things in their yard, but there's not a lot I can do about that. You have to make sure their building goes somewhere else and then eventually what will happen is I will level up my tools and I'll be able to get rid of them. But for that, I need more money, more money, more money. I think year two is where I'll start to really get, you know, good amounts of money. I'm already starting to get, from the summer onwards, better money. I think I was worried about getting the figs. I was worried. I was like, oh, no, I'm, no, I'm never going to be able to find figs. And it's actually going to be the truffle mushrooms that are going to be harder to find, I think. I'm kind of thinking to myself, do I need to, to do this? Or do I just put the chicken coop in the same area? as Can the chickens and cows go in together, like? Or would that make them unhappy in some way? definitely needs to go because that will be in the way of like a fence line I think 
And then I'm thinking if I get rid of those two, that'll be a good space to put the chicken coop down in. But I just need it to build at the moment. I can always come back and do a bit more clearing and put the fence down around it. Honestly, even once the chickens are in, so... That would probably work. Or even back one like there. But I can't go across one. Yeah, I feel like that would be fine. I can move it later as well. But I'll probably just send fence them in around here somewhere and uh then probably use sort of this corner, this side and this corner, for like um, orchards and things like that. So I'll spend a little bit of time trying to make that area a bit nicer. I don't know where the chickens kind of like need more space or whether they whether they eat like they could eat weeds or whether they eat more chicken food or whether they just scratch around if they're outside or whether they need grass i don't really know with the cows it's pretty obvious but i don't know what chickens eat <laughs> If it's grass, so again, the grass starters are super cheap, so I'll probably just get some grass starters going. They don't grow in the winter though, so I'll probably need to buy a lot of hay to get through the winter. I don't mind that too much though. And then probably by next year I'll have all the, uh, the McGubbin set up for... That down. We'll have all the McGubbins set up for making our own hay at that point. I'll probably have a silo full by winter. A little bit behind with all the debt right now. Didn't really get into the branching, particularly early in this game. Oh, nearly. <laughs> nearly got taken out there. I need to get rid of some of this around here so I can run around a bit more and then we'll get some paths down and things and it'll all be lovely. I'll, I'll maybe continue that path all the way down the centre there because I think that would just look quite nice. It'd be quite central. So we've got a path that's one, two, three, two, three, it's kind of three wide. I could, I could maintain that, it was maybe three to five wide path going down the middle separating maybe um, farmland from animals. That'd be quite cool. Oh, big stretch. Okay. Probably just bedtime now, I think. Oh, man. We've at least got the chicken coop down, though. I'm going to give you one more day, because I am generous like that. What's Jeff got to say? Oh man, we already talked about that. Stupid Jeff. Okay, so we made like zero money because I saved the pepper. I think I'm going to... I won't regret that, I don't think. Oh, look at these. I don't, I really do prefer spring and summer though. Like uh, when it has the, the sort of, um, the lighting of fall, it always feels so kind of dark and dingy, doesn't it? It's got sort of a weird reddish light to it. Or autumn as they say in my country. I 
I think most places use fall though, don't they? I think Canada might use autumn as well. Not certain on that one. Okay, so we're all watered up. Hopefully my cows love me. Good the morning. And good the morning. And thank you for the, the... Oh, right, okay, so I'm getting starred milks now. Righty-ho. Is that a... Does that count as our large milk then? Or is it... It's a bronze quality small. Okay. Good to know. I've got a silver fig as well. Figs give you a nice amount of uh, stamina and stuff. Well, I'm going to let you guys out. You can go graze in the field. I do feel like I I might want to just buy a load of grass starters and patch that whole field up before winter. But I don't know. I don't know if all the grass will die in winter or something. So I need to just like hold my horses on that one maybe. Right, let's go and check on this chicken shed then. I definitely need to get, like, a way through here cleared a bit more. Okay, that's not a stone. I thought that was a rock, but it's not. And I need to make some... I, well, I need to grab, actually, the fencing out of my chest and then grab and uh, make some more fencing. I'm just going to make, again, make some wooden fences for them. Allow them to go outside. I only I can only imagine they want to go outside, right? Uh, question is, where did I put the fences? I put them there. Okay, um, we need to make loads more because I'm sure that four pieces of fence is not enough. Probably 20 is not enough. And a gate. And I expect the, probably the best place to put a gate is going to be kind of by here. So, one, two, three, four, five. Oh, you're right. So, that's another five wide path. Yeah, okay. So, if I start the fence right by the back of there, mm -hmm, that would make total sense. Fence gate. Did I get double milk? I think I might have done. I got three milks today for some reason. And I feel like a gate there would be good. Yeah. And then just fence down the side there. That just keeps it all in line with the cow enclosure. I may as well go all the way to the edge. Unless I particularly want to put a path around here. There's already, I can already run around the edge of it anyway. Or can I? I think that's okay. I could probably change it if I felt that that wasn't a good idea. Later down the line. I'm not sure how big I want this to be. Whether I'm going to feel later on that I've made that too large. But if I do, I can always pull it back and make it smaller. But I get a feeling that having it a bit big is going to be quite nice, honestly. Because I'm going to have loads and loads and loads of different chickens and things as I upgrade the coop.
And I do definitely feel like it's giving a little bit more. It's making a bit more sense of my farmyard as well. So it'd be nice to have like an outside enclosure ready for them. All cleared up and ready. And like I can tell that this is going to be like the path as well. So these trees kind of need to go too. It just gives me a an idea of what needs to be cleared, what doesn't. Cutting down trees is obviously quite labour intensive though. So I don't know how many I'll be able to get rid of. Don't really want to be using my, my lotions and potions until I have to as well, so. Okay, well that opened things up a bit. I think I need to make myself some more fence posts. We do another 20 odd. Trying to just get rid of enough that I can get to at least the corner in. So that tree could maybe just stay, it's fine. That weed needs to go. Like I say, I'm not 100% sure what chickens actually eat. Part of me kind of likes that they've got a few trees around. I may decide to keep a few of them. However, that one needs to go, definitely, because that one is right in the way of the fence line. I'm hoping I'll have enough stamina just to get that one done at least. It was a close one, but yeah, I did just about manage it. <laughs> Alright, so I've got this whole area behind here as well. That could that could do for a nice like little orchard or something, couldn't it? Well, I feel like that's a bit out of line now, but I, I can do something with that. See, my problem is I, I I'm still getting my bearings with kind of how the layout is because there's so much stuff in the way. But I reckon I could just get rid of that grass there. Oh. I've, I think I've got like enough space there now that I can make some more fence. Twelve. Let's see how we get on with that. Do one more swipe. Uh. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> one fence post left over. Well done, me. <laughs> okay, fine. So basically, we now have our chicken enclosure. It's quite large. But I'm not too worried about that. And again, it's kind of like in, it's basically in line with the path there. Kinda. With a bit of a verge on the side. Which I'll maybe just decorate with some nice like flooring or something. I'm not sure. So I'm going to make a, basically a road. I'll probably hack down all of this grass. Um, and then I'll be able to make all of that into hay. Because I don't think I'll want that there necessarily. But that can just stay as it is for now. I'm probably going to want to clear up this a little bit. Because that's probably going to be straight in the way of my road. So, And then I might want to grow like a small orchard of trees just purely for the wood. Maybe, maybe not. I will have to see. And then probably going to be some fruit trees and things around as well. But yeah, I definitely feel like this is looking more like a cool farm now. Alright, so, so what do people with no stamina do? They go under the sea and check with the turtle. <laughs> Make sure that that small milk won't work. Just want to make a hundred percent sure that the small milk doesn't work. Does harvesting take any stamina? Have a look. So when I harvest that, no, it doesn't. So I can pick things up off the, the ground. Oh, my inventory's full. Done. Oh, well, I only, I only came down here to do a quick check of something anyway. wasn't actually planned but it's good to know that I, if I've run out of stamina I've got a bit of time left I can come down here and uh, oh yeah it's full of all sorts of random stuff I can come down here and I can like grab things off the ocean bed so it's good to know yeah so that's definitely a very different looking thing to this small milk That's fine. I will not worry about that for now. I'm sure by now all of the like running around I've done and everything. If there was another way to get somewhere, I would have found it. I'm sure I would have. <laughs> I'm sorry if like any of you are like screaming at the screen like you don't need to get the milk. You could have gone this way and I just haven't noticed it. But I, I'm almost certain that I would have found it. Okay, I'm going to go back home and go to sleep and end the episode there. So we will have chickens next episode. We have the chicken pen. We have the chicken coop started. I've done quite a lot of clearing out of trees and things. And I'm getting a really solid idea of um, exactly how I want my farm to look. Which is really cool. I may need to rearrange all of this area. I know that this area is going to be my sort of crop area, but it may need sort of rearranging a little bit and different scarecrows putting in different size plots and things. So I put a bit of a tester, a bit of road down there, but the reason I'm not finishing that off is that I've got a feeling it's all going to change. Just in case you wondered. Is there anything I can sell right now? I, don't, I think that that's already in the museum, so I could sell that. I need the figs to take to the goddess. I could sell my oyster. And all my milk. Oh, it's two days worth of milk, that's why. But yeah, now I know that that's not good enough for the... For the dude, that's fine. So, oh yeah, I'll get, it's getting late, so... You know what, I could sort my inventory out quickly before I go to bed as well. Hmm. 
Mm, compost. Can't really put my figs anywhere. I need to keep the figs though, because uh, I need them for the goddess. So we'll give them into her tomorrow. All the different tree seeds I've been picking up over the place. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, no room. Okay. Coal. At least it stacks. Okay, so I'm going to need to sort out my chests pretty soon and upgrade them to stone. Perfect timing to get the stone chests, actually. So there we are. I hope you enjoyed the episode. We made a lot of progress on those first few days of autumn, so I hope you enjoyed. If you did, then please do leave me a like below. If you'd like to see more, please subscribe. I'll let you know when the videos are out. I hope to see you next time. In the meantime, please look after yourselves and keep being awesome.